Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to go ahead and use the tangent arc tool to make this shape here, and you're going to see just how quickly we can do this. In other demonstrations, we've done this uh, shapes and shapes like this using circles and using the trim tool, and then coming back and using the tangent tools. But as the demonstration you just watched illustrates, there are faster ways to do things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that demonstration again and explain what's going on while we do it. So first of all, I'm going to grab the line tool. I'm going to start on the origin and draw a vertical line. Then I'm going to move the mouse away from the end of my line. And when I come back, I'm going to, re I'm going to hover near the end. And you'll see that the tool changes between the line tool and the tangent arc tool. At this point, I am going to go ahead and draw the end point of my arc so that it's aligned up horizontally with the end point of the last line I drew. Click my mouse and come on down here until I see the line is the end point is aligned with the origin and I have a vertical constraint. And then I'll bring my mouse away from the end point of my line. We get back to the end point of the line. You can see that I've now picked up the tangent arc tool. And when I touch the end point again, there we have it. So to repeat that process, just in case you didn't catch it the first time or the first two times, I'm going to grab the line tool. I'm going to grab the origin, clicking release on the origin, drawing vertical, moving the mouse upward. When I see the vertical constraint, I'm going to click and release, pull the mouse away from the end point of the line, bring it back to the end point of the line without clicking. And then whenever I see my horizontal line constraint, I'm going to click and release and come on down looking for that horizontal line constraint again, click and release, move the mouse away from the end point of the line. And when I return to the end point of the line, you will see the tangent arc tool pick back up, clicking on the origin to finish this up. Now it's just a matter of adding my dimensions as shown to finish this drawing. And there we have it. Fully constrained slot demonstrated three times in two minutes. So I think you can do this too. Good luck, have fun, and as always, keep being awesome.